I remember that day, oh gosh. I had a strange feeling that day. It was a Monday, Monday, January 23rd. At 1.30, my chemistry class started. We were going to be doing the rainbow light experiment. There were essentially no safety precautions taken before the experiment. There were goggles and safety aprons available to us that we had used in the past for experiments that we did. But the teacher had said when she did demonstrations and experiments, we didn't need to wear them. It was seven little ceramic dishes and there's a liquid in it with chemical salts. A couple minutes into the experiment, the red flame dish uh, started to diminish. There was a gallon-sized jug that was full of a clear liquid. And she picked it up and started uncapping it and said, I better be careful or the bottle will explode. As she was saying that and uncapping the jug though, something just, it felt so wrong. And so I had my hands in front of my face. As she started pouring it um, onto the flame, it, um, it exploded. Intense heat just hit me and completely engulfed me. I fell to the ground. I heard screaming, lots of screaming. And I was wearing the school uniform, which consisted of a polyester kilt. And that kilt immediately when it was on fire, it just melted into the, me and the ground. And I couldn't really stand up. I just started crawling and um, pulling myself across the floor. I tried to call out for help finally when it was silent, but the methanol had gone down my throat and I had no voice. And it felt like when you have those nightmares and you're trying to scream for help and nothing comes out, it was exactly like that, except it was in real life. I finally made my way to the door and there's a fire extinguisher right next to the door, but I couldn't reach it. And I just thought, this is the end. I'm 15 and I've barely begun life. I haven't done anything I've wanted to do and, and I'm, I'm going to die. Um, never having been kissed. So I just started praying to die as quickly as possible. And right when I started praying, <laughs> I heard, oh my God. And I looked and I saw the feet of one of my favorite custodial staff members. <laughs> he grabbed the fire extinguisher and he put me out and saved my life. In total, five people were injured and I was the worst. We lived for 70 days in the hospital with her. When they send burn patients home like Clay, by most rights, they should be in the hospital. The actual scarring um, wasn't really a huge factor in the depression. It was dealing with a school that no longer supported me because some people thought I was lying about what happened. and. Others thought, well, it was an accident, um, so you can't be upset about an accident. 